Hello everyone, in this video we'll be talking about budget surplus specifically. Well, we all know that budget surplus is when government revenue is more than their expenditure, right? So technically we say BS is equal to TA minus G minus TR because taxes is a form of revenue for government. Whereas government spending and transfer revenue is a part of their expenditure, right? Now we've studied earlier that TA can be written as, right? Now let's draw a graph, understand budget surplus graphically. So this is our Y, which is income. This is our budget surplus. Now the line or the slope um the budget surplus curve pretty much goes like this where BS is equal to TY minus G minus TR where there's bar on G and G, G and TR. Now and this intercept is minus G plus TR. Now in order to understand this we need to know that at this point our income is zero, right? And a budget sur budget sur surplus can only occur when there is some income, right? Some positive income. And so we have some income on which government can tax, uh, charge taxes and can spend, right? So we have a budget surplus on the upper side or the positive sides of the curve. Whereas at this side, when we talk about this particular side, we see it's in negative, right? Which means there's no income right now. And when there's no income, they cannot charge you tax, tax, right? And that is why we have no tax revenue, but only the expenditure. Got it? Now, when we are talking about budget surplus for its equation, let's just take TA and G into consideration. This is not... Right? So, we have studied that change in, it can be written as change in Y or income caused due to change in tax level, right? So, can we write it as this? Yes? Now, if you take G common, you'll get minus one now if we expand this further we can get it as one by one minus c one minus t minus one right now if we try take lcm we can say change in budget surplus is equal to minus one minus c one minus t by 1 minus c 1 minus t multiplied by autonomous government spending okay and this is our equation for budget surplus now there's another very small topic that we should cover that which is budget surplus at full employment level so at full employment level our income will increase right so potential income y star minus g minus tr so bs star minus bs is equal to t right where this shows the difference between our current budget surplus and what it would have been in case of full employment right and this is tax charged when our income can potentially be this but it's currently this right so this is our budget surplus at full employment level and in case you don't know what full employment level is, uh, it is a level where everyone who is seeking for job and available for job gets job at the prevailing wage rate. Okay. And yes, so with this, we are done with this chapter. Thank you.